now that you have those uh, tips, oh, it's quite late, my eyes hurt. <laughs> uh, let me tell, oh, being late makes me think of something, actually. Here is a genius idea I have had to make um, revolutionary changes in the bedding space. So, let's talk about making beds. Making beds can be a lot of hassle for some people, and some people think it takes too long or something. I'm not really sure, but I know that Ooh, it's not worth it. It takes so much time. This is what people say, or maybe if uh, you're in a hotel, an unscrupulous hotel who doesn't change the bed covers and, and just makes the beds. Well, actually, they don't always change the covers. Often the maid comes in and makes the bed anyway. This will make making the bed a lot easier. So, let's take a look at my plan. So, allow me to use your imagination. <laughs> this is a bed. This is the bit where you lie. This is the person lying in the bed. It looks like a dead person, kind of, but... This person's just lying on the bed. These are the legs of the bed holding it up. So, the person shouldn't be lying on the bed like that. The bed needs a mattress. So, here is the bed with the mattress on top. What goes on the mattress? A sheet. For this uh, presentation, I've used a pink sheet because it's easier to see. And then... You can't just sleep on a mattress with a sheet. You need a duvet in a duvet cover. So here is our duvet cover. Here it is. And it will go onto this bed. The person will sleep underneath it. However, normally we'd just put the duvet on top of the bed and then you would sleep underneath it. So this is where my big idea comes in. Ta-da! The duvet goes on top of the bed, and then these represent stitches, and it's stitched to the pink sheet, so that it's held in place all the way along this side. Right? I hope this makes sense. How does this, how does this, what's good about this, I suppose, is the big question that everyone wants to know the answer to. It means that to make the bed, all you have to do is hold one end of the duvet. How do I get both hands in? Hold one end of the duvet. Hold one end of the duvet. Hold the other end and pull across towards you. And it's done. It's made. The bed is made and it's made neatly. Because this side stays still and all you have to do is pull the other side to the other side of the bed. It's that easy. Now, I think that would make uh, I think that would not make the bed too much more different than the normal bed to sleep in because you don't really move the duvet around that much and if you do want to move it you can just push it to the edge like this whilst you don't want to be under it. And then pull it back when you're ready to go to sleep. However, if you were feeling a bit more ambitious, stitch along here, and then all you'd need to do was pull diagonally the top corner to this corner. This would be along, I haven't got a drawing, but you'd pull it to this corner here. From here, as this bit would stay still, and it could barely get unmade, but I think that would feel a bit restricted to sleep in. So I don't think that's the best idea. But I do think stitching the duvet cover, not the duvet, because you wash the cover and not the duvet so much, because obvious reasons. Anyway, yes, so stitch it down onto the, whatever it's called, the sheet. And that will make making the bed a lot quicker and a lot easier. And it would make it neater because you can pull as hard as you like. Well, not as hard as you like, you pull the sheet off. But you can pull quite hard to make the sheet flat all the way along.
this is an idea that I've had for a long time. So if anybody would like to um, invest in this idea, I suppose, as I'll need to get factory set up, stitching these together. And also, I don't want to spend my own money to do this because I don't know if people believe in it. So, viewers, thank you for watching. Let's move on to the next segment now.